I'm Anthony Bonney of Insurge Unlocked. Today we're going to be talking about how you can be more visible on LinkedIn. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to be more visible on LinkedIn. So you know your audience is out there, LinkedIn is a very big place, but how do they find you? In previous workshops, I've spoken about your profile picture and how to make it look great, your banner, how to get your brand across, and even your settings to make sure that you're visible. But these things are all for when somebody lands. These are all for, some, for when somebody actually gets to your profile. How do they get there? Okay, do not be under any illusion. This is a search engine. Your instant reaction usually is, I'm gonna Google it, and that's absolutely fine but there is over 600 million people on LinkedIn. You need to be visible. Okay, so on your LinkedIn profile, about halfway down, you've got a gray box, which is your dashboard. Your dashboard offers a huge amount of insight into how your LinkedIn profile is being used and viewed. So I wanna run through a couple of the bits on there. So first of all, you have the number of people who viewed your profile. Secondly, the number of people who viewed your latest piece of content. And finally, the number of search appearances that your profile has actually appeared in over a period of time. So I want to start with the people who viewed your profile. So the people who viewed your profile, once you click on that, you're going to end up with some great analytics. One, of the number of people over a period of time. And secondly, it's going to give you a list of actual profiles that have landed on your personal profile. Now, if you have a free account, you're only going to see a couple of these. I do recommend using the premium products on LinkedIn. The reason for this is you get far more visibility of your potential customers and better ways of interacting with them. Now, this is a great opportunity to be able to look and see which ones of these people are your ideal customer and reach out and connect with them. You are far more likely to get an accepted connection from somebody who knows who you are and has already been on your profile when you reach out. Remember before when I mentioned about the search bar at the top of LinkedIn? This figure here directly correlates to the number of times that when somebody searched, you've been actually appearing in the search. So what I'd like you to do when, this, when you finish this video, is I'd like you to get out your mobile, go on your desktop, go to your LinkedIn profile, go to your dashboard, click on this figure and scroll right to the bottom. Right at the bottom of that, you're gonna have a list of keywords. Those keywords, for an awful lot of you out there, are gonna be completely irrelevant to the products and services that you currently sell. Why is that? Okay, so the reason that this is happening is because your profile is not optimized to, to drive people to those particular keywords. So for example, this, this is an example of somebody within our business. Now our business, we wanna be found for lead generation, for business to business marketing, for digital agency, and we optimize the profile to make sure that that is what people are going to find us for. I'm gonna show you now how to get the right keywords and where to put them in your profile. So to get a real understanding of what keywords you should be using in your profile, first I wanna talk about Neil Patel's Uber Suggest. So this is a completely free website that actually gives you a real insight into what keywords and that you should be using and how they're actually performing. This works exactly the same as Google. This, this keyword search is for Google. Do not be under any illusion. If people are searching for those keywords in Google, they are searching for them on LinkedIn. Just as an example here, on Uber Suggest, we've actually put an example of business coach. So this is a keyword that I've searched for just to see the kind of search volumes that are coming up on Google for a business coach. So here you can see it says 1900. So what this actually does, completely free of charge, and you can spend thousands on other pieces of software and companies that could do this, you can get this completely free where you can then find out the other kinds of keywords that people would be searching for. And if you as a business are location specific, you can then find out if you are a business coach in London, if you're a business coach in, in Los Angeles, you can find out exactly the number of people that are searching for those search terms. There are a huge amount of examples there and you can get more. You can then use these within your LinkedIn profile to make sure that you're ranking when people are searching for them. So where would you put them in your LinkedIn profile? Suggestions, your title, vitally important, your summary, 
and also just as important in your skills. These are areas that LinkedIn and the algorithm weight heavily towards when people are searching whether you're going to appear high up in that search rankings or not. Okay, as always, the most important thing for me is to give you something to implement this. So I've put together a guide on how to use Ubersuggest and how to get the best out of these keywords. So to get that, please comment below, uh, like, uh, please do follow me on LinkedIn and I will see you next time for Workshop Wednesday.